C++ the new and delete operators. That is the following generic syntax to use new operator to allocate memory dynamically for any data type. So let us suppose we are going to define one new variable and that variable should be allocated by some new address. Then in that case the syntax on the right hand side will be new data type. It can be new int, new double, new character in this way. Here data type could be any built in data type including an array or any user defined data types including the class or a structure as we had defined already. Let us start with built in data types. For example, we can define a pointer to a type double and then request that the memory be allocated at execution time. We can do this using the following statement. So here we will be using the operator, the name of the operator is new. New is actually it is symbolizing on analogous with the malloc or the calloc functions which we had in our C programming. So double pointer p value. So here p value is a variable which will be holding an address and content of the address will be of the type double. So here we can initialize it with null initially. So that's why it is now is a null pointer. So now p value is equal to new double. So a memory space will be allocated for a double. So for the double to hold the double data, a memory space will get allocated and its starting address of that memory block will be allocated to the variable that is p value. So here we have used this keyword that is the operator that is new. The memory may not have allocated successfully if the free store had been used up. So it is good practice to check if new operator is returning null pointer and take appropriate action as below. So sometimes it may happen that the memory spaces are not available. So dynamic memory space allocation is not happening. That means the new operator is actually returning null as output. That means no memory space is free for the reallocation. So as a result of that, it will return a null in that case. So if I want to check that one, we can write the code in this way. That is double pointer p value is equal to null. So initially we are making this p value as null, that is a null pointer. And then we are doing this allocation, that is p value is equal to new double as we did earlier. And if it returns null, then not of null will become true then the control will come inside this one here i'll be printing one error message on the screen and i shall exit here one will indicate that abnormal termination of the execution that is the abort from the execution that is the unsuccessful execution of the code has occurred so abort will take take place that means the program the rest part of the program will remain unreachable unexecuted and the program would get terminated the malloc function from C still exists in C++, but it is recommended to avoid using malloc function. The main advantage of new over malloc is that the new does not allocate memory. It constructs objects, which is prime purpose of C++. So that is the main difference between the respective malloc function, which we were using in our C coding can also be used in our C++ coding here, but we should go for the new operator. Any At any point when you feel a variable that has been dynamically allocated is not anymore required, you can free up the memory that is occupies in the free store with the delete operator as follows. So the syntax of the delete operator will be like this, that is delete the respective variable name. So whenever you find that this dynamic memory space allocated variable is not required, that dynamic memory space is not required because that is of no use in the successive part of, of my execution and coding. In that case, we can release that one so, so that it can be reused for other allocations in future. So in, the, in that case, we must be using the delete operator and then the respective variable name. So here we are having one sample coding and there is a respective output. So let me explain that one for you. So here this double pointer p value is equal to null. So p value is equal to new double as we discussed earlier also. So pointer p value you are keeping some value there and then you are printing that value as required. So pointer p value, don't print p value then it will print the address. So pointer p value will 
print the respective content and then you are releasing the memory space using the operator delete and then you are terminating your code by return 0. So, output of the program will be the value of the p value will be this that is 29495 and that was the value which we put here. So, in this way we have discussed how this new and delete operators can be used in case of dynamic memory space allocation in C++ coding. Thanks for watching this video.